Greetings. My name's Jan Spencer, and I am a member of the River Road Community Organization. And I'd like to share a slideshow with you about the Willamette River Greenway right here in River Road. So let us do a screen share and we'll start. The Willamette River Greenway and River Road forms the east boundary of the River Road neighborhood for two miles. The Greenway provides us with an awesome opportunity to improve the habitat for critters and plants, build a more resilient and cohesive neighborhood, and connect with the natural world. This short slideshow will include a look at the Kalapuya, the original human residence of the Willamette Valley, then some basic background on the Willamette River Greenway, and then some past and present history of the Greenway here in River Road, and then an invitation. The Willamette River watershed is the historic home of the Kalapuya and more recently, the location of the Willamette River Greenway. Here is the river and lots of tributaries. The Kalapuya are a Native American ethnic group. Before the arrival of the Europeans, they inhabited the Willamette Valley with subgroups more or less defined by drainage area tributaries of the Willamette River. Kalapuya bands typically consisted of extended families of related males, their wives, and offspring. These bands would occupy a year-round village throughout the winter, with some members splitting off into smaller groups and departing to gather seasonal food during the spring and summer. The Kalapuya were known to manage the landscape with fire to enhance the growth of edible plants they relied on. Prior to contact with the white explorers, traders, and missionaries, the Kalapuya population is believed to have numbered about 15,000. Their numbers crashed after contact with early Europeans due to communicable disease. Many of their contemporary descendants are members of the confederated tribes of the Grand Ronde community of Oregon. The Willamette River Greenway is a regional entity. Former governors Tom McCall and Bob Straub both helped bring the Greenway into being in 1971 with the goal to help safeguard the water, plants, and wildlife along the Willamette River and to encourage healthy recreation. The entire Greenway extends 187 miles from near Eugene to the Columbia River near Portland. Oregon State Parks and Recreation manages some 10,000 acres of parks and natural areas along the Willamette River and its tributaries. The Willamette River watershed totals 11 and a half thousand square miles and 70% of Oregon's population lives in the Willamette River watershed. State of Oregon planning goals five and 15 are significant in regard to the Greenway. The Greenway came into being in Eugene about 1976. This is, of course, the Greenway in Eugene, and these are animals and wildlife that inhabit the Greenway here in Eugene. There are almost two miles of Greenway and River Road on the west bank from Maury Jacobs Park up to Beltline.
the Greenway is a very popular destination for walking, biking, dog strolling, picnics, swimming, kayaking, fishing, gazing at the river, and spotting wildlife. Under certain special conditions, there's even a surf break. The mixed-use bike paths along the Willamette and River Road date to 1981. In the 1990s, concerned neighbors stopped plans for a large indoor soccer facility and its ex expansive parking lots. Thanks to that citizen action, we now have Razor Park instead of acres of pavement. Also in the 90s, concerned neighbors stopped an auto bridge that would have connected River Road with the shopping mall and that would have gone right through the middle of Razor Park. Citizen involvement continues to be critical to safeguard and restore the Greenway. Property in the Greenway does not necessarily have protection from development and restoration depends on human help. Citizen involvement delivers much to celebrate and build on in the River Road Greenway right up to the present. Over the years, the Greenway has seen many work parties, river cleanups, socials, and educational events, all good for the Greenway. A core part of restoring the Greenway is citizen volunteers. Razor Park, the Filbert Grove, Heron Slough, and Maidern Park have all had lead organizers. The city provides the lead organizer with on-site assistance, helps create a work plan, helps organize work parties, and provides tools for the work parties. This is an awesome example of the city empowering citizen initiative. Work parties are fun, great exercise, and a place to make new friends. It's also great satisfaction to help improve habitat for the otters, the beavers, the eagles, the osprey, and all the other plants and animals that inhabit the greenway. Okay, let's take a little slideshow tour of the River Road Greenway from Razor Park uh, right here uh, up to Maynard Park right here. And we're going to learn about some of the important collaborations. And as we move from south to north, we'll also hear about some of the various events of interest over the past 20 years and sites that could be available for adoption. Razor Park has benefited greatly from many work parties and volunteers over almost 20 years. Razor Park is a unique opportunity to restore the habitat. Last spring, for the first time, there were hundreds of flowering native plants, the product of untold hours of work by dozens of volunteers over the years, and a short distance away, a patch of ground that hadn't been restored was just a bland green. Already, I'm told, long lost species are returning to Razor Park, and each adopted location in the Greenway has a leader, Becky Riley, and her partner, Peter, play that role in Razor Park. The Filbert Grove is located at the end of McClure in the Greenway, and dating back from the mid-1940s, the grove counts over 65 filbert trees. Up to 2010, these filbert trees languished in a jungle of English ivy and blackberries. Restoration began in 2010. The city arranged a filbert professional to help make a work plan.
the trees in the grove have been pruned and there have been dozens of work parties over the years with volunteers from local schools, the neighborhood, student groups from the University of Oregon, church youth groups, and people who just like to go outside and help with a project. The Grove is open to anyone to collect nuts in the fall season. And me, Jan Spencer, I am the lead organizer in the Filbert Grove. Here's a couple of photos along the river. You may recognize this site. These are places that are available for adoption. There are uh, a fair amount of invasive species uh, here, and you'll see even particularly here, you can see lots of ivy even climbing up in the trees. These are uh, places that can be adopted. There uh, is work arrangements to be made with the city, but there's plenty to be done in the Greenway. Let's move here. This is a work party uh, from several years ago. We had a huge good time uh, mulching trees that had been planted with big piles of, uh, of chip uh, bark mulch. And these were all neighbors, some crew from the city. Uh, we had a wonderful time. And this photo shows Sunday streets in the River Road Greenway. Uh, the one day event Sunday streets uh, has been hosted by a number of different neighborhoods over the years. And the whole idea is to celebrate bikes, walking and other non-motorized transportation. And that's exactly what's happening here, a great place. And this picture here is the surf break here in River Road. Uh, this area here, this is the surfer. He's floating down into the waves and he's up on his board right here. Uh, this is not a frequent occasion, but I have seen this. The infra information kiosk is located between the Filbert Grove and Heron Pond. This important project was initiated by Cameron Ewing with the support and cooperation of ARCO, Cam's dad, and other volunteers. The kiosk is a great example of making use of the city's neighborhood matching grant program. That program uh, involves citizens who propose a project that will enhance the neighborhood. Uh, and if that proposal is accepted, the city matches city uh, citizen sweat equity with grant money. And this picture here uh, is the flooding of the Willamette River. And this would have been uh, at the same time that the we saw the surfer. This would have been at the same time as the surfer. What happened? Okay, hang on. Okay, this is Heron Ponds. Uh, and this particular location has benefited by Kat Allison and her husband, Bill, and they moved to Arbor Street after helping save Razor Park uh, over 20 years ago. In past years, they've hosted four to five work parties a year to remove invasives and also plant trees uh, in the area to, uh, to screen recent home construction. And this is something new. This is a dance jam. Uh, in the past couple of years, there have been uh, dance jams in the Greenway next to Heron Pond. 
uh, with recorded music and a bubble machine and up to 50 people having great fun. These take place Sunday mornings from 11 to 1. It's great exercise and a chance to make friends and enjoy nature. And this is Maynard Park, Jan Hornaday, the queen of cardboard, uh, has led efforts of work parties planting dozens of trees in Maynard Park. And this site also has potential for being community garden as well. And there are also several other sites along the Greenway where there have been work parties. These are some uh, uh, natives planted right next to uh, the Greenway, close to uh, Maynard Park. And here are two photos. This is a channel that was excavated eight or nine years ago. Uh, and this channel uh, connects Heron Pond with the Willamette River. And this is where that channel meets the river. And next to the bridge that goes over this channel, you can find an educational uh, uh, kiosk and it explains this is salmon habitat. There have been salmon uh, who have been uh, witnessed uh, here uh, spawning in this channel, in this habitat right here. That's really exciting. Over the years, there have been at least two promenades along the West Bank. These were efforts to simulate the wonderful lake or open oceanside public promenades that are so popular in places like Nice, Biarritz, Barcelona, Menaggio, and Alguero. The promenades are simply beautiful places to walk, meet, and greet. And we can use our own greenway as a lungo fiume, that's along the river, as a promenade, and we'll be looking into doing that again this summer. There are several organizations that exist to support the Greenway, uh, both uh, in a regional sense, but also particularly here in River Road as well. This one is Greenway Guardians, and they exist to uh, engage in educational outreach, collaborate with other organizations, and uh, to uh, rally support for protecting the Greenway. Friends of Razor Park strives to restore the 10-acre oak savanna and prairie for native plants, animals, birds, bees, and people, and you can see, of course, there's the website there. Willamette Riverkeeper has, for the past 25 years, served as the eyes, ears, and voice of the Willamette River on behalf of the Greenway. And uh, Willamette Riverkeeper is more of a regional organization. They have big work parties for cleaning up the uh, the river uh, in Eugene and all along the uh, the Greenway in Oregon, and the public's invited to participate with that. The Greenway has something for just about everyone, and the benefits of helping reconnecting with nature adds enormously to our well-being and quality of life. Being out in the Greenway, it's free and there's no carbon footprint. The Greenway is great for exercise, critters, and the landscape. Work parties are great for meeting people and finding out about other good stuff happening in River Road, like becoming involved with the River Road Community Organization 
ARCO has different committees that could be of interest if you knew about them, like the Preparedness Committee and the Human Rights Committee. You just might meet people interested in helping each other turn their front yards into gardens. You might even decide to start a new interest group yourself. And of course, the invitation is to become involved uh, with uh, protecting and enhancing and enjoying the Greenway. Uh, we have a couple of email addresses. Uh, you can contact me uh, if you're interested, particularly in becoming involved with the Greenway. You can find out more about ARCO, the River Road Community Organization, by emailing the co-chairs. We have monthly meetings and lots of good work going on on behalf of the neighborhood, on behalf of the Greenway. We'd love to have you involved. Okay, that is um, the slideshow. I'd love to see you in the Greenway. Feel free to give me an email, uh, join us, uh, at an ARCO meeting and be well. Thank you.